Hey YouTube, Luke Hiffield here, and today I'm going to be talking about bad moms. Or bad mums, as I would call it. So Bad Moms is a lewd comedy written by John Lucas and Scott Moore, the guys that wrote the Hangover trilogy. Bad Moms is basically a story about the modern mom, Amy Mitchell is the protagonist, and she's played by Mila Kunis, and she's basically, you know, the super mom at the start of this movie. She's juggling all these different things. She's juggling her two kids, a job, PTA meetings, after school clubs, drop-offs, pickups, you name it. Basically, she's stretching herself really thin. One day, she manages to stretch herself so far that she ends up just sort of snapping. She just sort of says, fuck it, yeah, I can't be this idealized mom that uh, Christina Applegate's queen bee of a mom wants her to be. She sort of finds some common ground with two other moms. Uh, one of them is Kristen Bell's character. She is basically the doormatty, stay-at-home mom. And then there's Katherine Hahn's character, playing wonderfully against her character type. She's basically the trashy, unhinged single mom. It's, she's just a delight to watch because it's so not what you expect from Katherine Hahn like from Captain Fantastic and Transparent. So in fairness, the story is kind of weak. There isn't really much story to it. There's a couple of subplots, one involving Mila Kunis and her crappy marriage to her husband and her trying to figure out if she wants to give the marriage another go or just call it quits altogether. Then there's a subplot where Mila Kunis and Christine Applegate, the two leaders of the gangs of moms going up against each other for this sort of PTA presidency election race. And that's the Pretty much all there is to it. And interwoven between these two subplots are these basically silly scenes for basically giving the women an excuse to blow off some steam and, you know, have some fun. Like, there's a, a scene where they're just sort of like a gangster tripping in a supermarket and a house party scene and <laughs> driving really fast in the street because, you know, that's what bad moms do, apparently. Having said that, while there's not much story to it, I actually had a fair amount of fun with this movie. It was actually great to see, you know, women in these sort of typically lewd roles and just having a blast with it. The things I liked about this, the trio of leading ladies, Kristen Bell, Mila Kunis, Catherine Hahn, they're all fantastic. They have a really nice dynamic between the three of them. And it, it really works. And the same can be said about Christina Applegate and her sort of trio of followers, bitchy moms, if you will. They're, they're also fantastic. The soundtrack is literally every fun pop song that we've heard in the last two years. And it works for it. You know, it's a, it's just a fun summer movie that doesn't take itself too seriously. You kind of sing along to it and it's good. And even though 90% of the dialogue is incredibly corny, it's done in such an unapologetic manner that it just says, fuck it, we're going to run with it. And yeah. It worked for me. Uh, and also, what else was nice was the end credits. Okay, so you know how the Hangover credits had the found camera of all the pictures on it? Well, this does something a little bit different, but it's, it's not necessarily lewd and hilarious. It's just something sort of sweet and sentimental, and it's nice. It's kind of made me want to call my mom. So, the bad stuff. I did enjoy this film, but, uh, like, the problem with the characters is that they are sort of limited to their gender-specified roles and it sort of gives this message that women, when you become a mom, that that's what defines you and that really isn't what defines you. It's one message I sort of took a little bit of issue with because, yeah, it's just not relevant really. There wasn't much plot to it and it was very predictable and also it's too long in places. There's a couple scenes that really didn't feel necessary. They just feel like they were put in there to make it a little bit more lively. There was a scene where where the three bad or good moms, depending on your philosophical bent, are driving to the PTA me meeting in a mad dash and it just feels shoehorned in there for absolutely no reason. I, don't, I didn't really see the point in it. In the end, Bad Moms is nothing groundbreaking. It's just a fun, light-hearted, slightly over-the-top comedy with really likeable characters. It's the kind of movie you'd watch on a rainy day when you've got nothing better to do or when you're sick because it would cheer you up. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, we're going to have to give this a 7 out of 10. It's funny, it's easy to watch, but it's nothing that you're going and particularly like rave about to your friends. Thanks very much for watching guys. Uh, for more things related to TV, movies, and popcorn culture, I'm Luke Kierfield. Thanks for watching.